Hi, I'm Mishi. I'm a PhD student at the University of Hawaii at Manoa. I'm in my fourth year of my PhD and in this video I'm gonna give you five tips on how to manage the amount of reading you have to do in college. You've probably noticed that some professors give you so much stuff to read while other professors don't. Sometimes if you have multiple professors that like assigning lots of reading you end up with having to read a hundred pages a day. Who can read a hundred pages a day? Not me and I don't think lots of students can. So how do you do read that much? The answer is you don't. Let me tell you what I do to prepare for my classes, still get good grades, and not spend my entire afternoon reading, doing homework, and not having time to go to the beach. Okay, number one. What you do first is you have a look at what you're reading the reading for. Why does your professor want you to do the reading? What are you supposed to take out of it for the class that's coming up? Because that's what's going to guide how you're reading the text or what parts of the text you're reading. Because we don't want to read the entire chapter or the entire journal article. So in general, look at the schedule to see what the class is going to be about, what the common themes are going to be. If it's a journal article, you're in luck because you probably only have to read about 500 words of that entire article. Think about what the topic of the entire semester is. If it's a methods focused class, you know you're probably going to have to have a good look at the methods section. If it's an intro class where you're most likely going to focus on different concepts that you're going to learn about, not in too much detail, detail like in a 100 level class then you probably want to skim for all the topics all the themes that are introduced but you don't really need to go into too much detail when it comes to methods being used to find out that information and if you really cannot find out a reason at all why this would be related to anything you're doing you can even ask your professor send them an email say hi I have lots of reading to do please let me know what I should focus on in this reading if anything that's probably a good thing to do never a bad thing and if there's discussion questions that you're supposed to answer as a homework that's even better because those questions are probably about the topics that you're supposed to focus on so yeah that's step number one figure out why you're even reading the text step number two especially if it's a journal article start by reading the abstract the abstract is super short is usually 250 words not more and it has the main structure of the text it has the main argument of the text and it sometimes even has the main results of the text or the study that is being done. Start out by reading the abstract and try to figure out which key terms that are used in it relate to the topic of your class, the topic of the next class session that you're preparing for. If there's no abstract, just look at the first one or two paragraphs of the text and that's where you should find all that information. Once you're done, once you identified the most important themes from the abstract, go skip all the way to the end to the discussion section. Discussion and even conclusion section. Try to look for the exact same words, exact same keywords that are mentioned in the abstract that you identified before and see what came out. See what the authors think is the main takeaway of the paper. Have a look at that. By then you're probably at 500 words max and that's already most of the reading you're doing. Step number four. Step number three. Step number three. Ask yourself if by now you already understood the main message of the paper. Is there any key term that you think you have no idea what it's about? Is there any key term that you think you need to know more about? Is there any topic that you might not be able to define if your professor randomly asked you about it? If so, do a quick search in the text. I think it's command F. Hit command F and look for those key terms. It must be those same ones that are mentioned in the abstract and in the conclusion. It should be something very related to the next class session you're prepared for, very related to the class, the overall class topic. Look up those terms, look for the sentences they're used in. Read one or two or three of those and then you should be done. Try to figure out why are they used there, what does it mean. If you really can't figure out what they mean, look at Wikipedia first, but those few sentences or those few mentions of those key terms should get you what you need to be prepared for the class. Honestly, that's probably only 50 words more or something like that. It should be really easy. And then we're already at step number four. In class, have that text open. 
or all the texts you're supposed to read. Have them open, have command F open so that you're super quick to just put in any topic, any word that your teacher or your professor is mentioning so that you can quickly search for what's important for the actual class. It might be that it's not the exact keyword that you identified before. It might be something completely different. Maybe you identified it wrong. No problem. You definitely got enough of the reading to be prepared for the class, but make sure that in case you're asked a question that you're not prepared to answer, you can quickly search for it in the text and even do that before you're asked a question. If you notice your professor mentions a word many times and you don't even know what it is, look up if it's mentioned in the text and if you maybe just missed it in the text. And that's all you should need to do. I don't think there's much more. The only last tip I have for you, tip number five, is scratch all of what I told you if you're interested in the topic. If you're interested in the text, if you notice you really enjoy reading this, read all of it. Read as much as you want. Take notes because those notes might be the basis of your next term paper. They might be the basis of your next thesis even. If it's something you're interested in and you think you can do more with it or you really like it, definitely write it down. You won't regret doing a little bit of extra work and it won't feel like extra work work. Yeah. So I hope that's five tips for you to manage the amount of reading you have to do in college. As I said, it's really not that much. It's reading about 500, 600 words, which should take about, which should take about 2.5 to four minutes. If you do some thinking between before, after, it should still not take you any longer than 10 minutes to get through a whole journal article. So yeah, hopefully that helped you. Let me know if you still have questions. I'm always happy to answer them and subscribe for more videos like this. Goodbye! And of the paper that you're reading. If the whole class, entire class, is about methods,